it was funny until it suddenly really wasn't. Oh, it's been so long. Oh, this floor needs vacuuming. Oh, fuck. Instantaneous regret. Where is my hat? Where have you gone? It's at the other end of the room. This was a mistake. In every conceivable way. It wasn't worth it. Kiara, it's a good song. But Jesus Christ. I... Fuck. Okay. I specifically went and did my hair and got it all cleaned up. Now I'm on the fucking floor. I, 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 I didn't vacuum. That was mostly landing on my arm. You can't even hear the song. Because I definitely didn't let it go in. What is playing now? It's a good song too, but that's not... Uh, uh, it's been too long since I've done that. Okay, maybe it's actually been either exactly the right amount of time or it was way too soon for me to have ever done that again. Um, fuck. Do I look like a human train? Well, I mean, do I look more like a human train wreck than I usually do? A little bit. Actually, I think I like that. A little hairdo. <laughs> no, I don't. That looks terrible. Oh, God. Hair, please. Help me. Fuck. Um, uh, point is. I am recording. Good. That would have been a damn shame if all of that happened and I wasn't even recording it. Um, Sparks is a good song. You should listen to it. Anyway, um... <laughs> How you guys doing today? I've had a week. I've had an interesting week. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna try and not pop off too terribly much. I just, I just... It's been a, it's been a week. It's been annoying, to say the least. I've had some, say, some issues. My work might have flooded just a little bit. There may or may not be immense heavy construction outside. There may not be a street and or sidewalk. And people walking into the bar in the rain, when that is happening, is a recipe for you not having a floor, but instead having a sandbox. So that was one day. And the next day, I went in, and one of the bathroom doors was locked. And we're pretty sure someone stole the key. Because it's gone now. It just doesn't exist. It is removed from the key ring. Not the whole, not the like, the, like someone didn't take the keys. Just the key. So like, so like it didn't get lost, someone took it. But why? But how? And how did no one think about that? And also why did no one tell us why the bathroom door was locked? Spoilers, vomit, neon pink. Clearly some form of chicken and rice. No one thought to mention that. Even when we called them. It was like, hey, what's going on? And everyone was like, uh! You're older than I am. Use your words. Had to try and break the door down to get in. That didn't even work. So we had to just scour every inch of the goddamn building to try and find a spare key. We found one eventually. So that's good. It means that is now, I guess, our real key. I feel like there was something else awful and tragic that uh, I'm forgetting. But for now, we're just going to go ahead with that. Also, I just fell out of my chair. Um, anyway, hey, hi, ho, and howdy, everyone. My name, well, now it's going to get really hot in here that I've done that because I'm just too goddamn sexy. No, okay, so let's not do that. Um, hey, hi, ho, and howdy, everyone. My name is Shannon Shook, and welcome to another episode of Shannon Falls Out of His Chair. But thankfully, doesn't have blankets tied to the ceiling, so he can't rip his light out of the ceiling again. Don't do that, kids. Um, anyway, don't watch my videos if you're kids. Um, anyway, and this is why. Fuck. Okay, there we go. See? That's, that's just why we don't do that. Um, 
And this is why we don't fall into our chair. It doesn't matter how good the song is. It's a very good song, though. I am so mad it took me, like, till, like, earlier this week to listen to Sparks for the first time. Because it is fucking awesome. Like, it is not the most, like, fucking crazy, in-depth, original, you've never seen it before. So it's just a fucking jam, son. And Kiara is the greatness. Um. Ah, anyway. What the fuck are we doing today? I don't know. I might have had an idea before, but I've given up now. Now now we're just we're just fucking winging it, son. Like a pretty little bird, like a phoenix. Oh shit, I've brought it back around. Um Oh, that hurts so bad. Why did I do it? It wasn't even that fun. The worst part is there is a very specific moment that you can see if I assume the pure fear on my face as I go from I uh, to am I about to fall out and then oh I'm falling oh this wasn't intentional fuck uh and then and and then and then gravity kicked my whole ass um what are we watching today I don't know what is the most appropriate I feel like I can only like like it has to be one of the fun ones right it has to be like Kaon or Snafu because if it's anything else, it's it's a problem. Because Violet Evergarden is too serious for this, and Land of the Lustrous. I'm I'm still trying to gain your attention with it. Like we're still only like five episodes in, so like, I don't want to scare you away too soon, more than I already have by watching it in dub. Um. So we're gonna watch Violet Evergarden today. <laughs> this is my logic. Actually, wait. Let me let me double check. See, this is my logic for it. Um, da, 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 da. Yeah, it has to be either Land of Lustrous or fucking Violet. Because this is my logic. I want the most amount of people to see it, and those are my two most viewed currently running series on the channel. Because if I fucking did that, then it better be goddamn worth it. Um, somebody has to see it. Um... What the fuck happened in the previous episode of Violet Evergarden? Or Land of the Lustrous? I still haven't decided yet. Stuff happened. I can't I can't actually say what it was because it would be a spoiler for whatever series it's not. I should it's Violet. We're gonna watch Violet because I've already recorded two episodes of Land of the Lustrous that haven't come out yet. Anyway. Fuck was last episode six? <laughs> Did I mention I landed on my head too? Um so, Yes. So six was the we, we went up to the astronomo place. That's not what it's called. Uh, we went up there and it was and it was great. And there was a man named Leon, probably Leon, but Leon. Um, and and he had a Charizard. No, it was a different guy. Um, and he fell for the sweet bean violet. Um, as we all did, as as I just did then and there. I didn't tell you that that was what happened. You may have assumed I was falling for Kiara, and you'd also be right, and also, shit, um, damn, you discovered me. But also, we're gonna, we're gonna pretend from the post-future return around. Fuck was that? Um, that, uh, I, that I was talking about Kiara. Fucking Violet. Damn it. Ah. Oh. The worst part is this intro is horrible, and I love it so much. Um, anyway. Yeah, we went up there. Did, did a little righty-do for the boy. He, he started falling in love with Violet, as we all do. I do. Violet's amazing. Um, and it was a sweet one. And it broke my brain a little bit, because it didn't really set in the episodic nature of the show. Which is weird, because we're six episodes in at this point. Um, seven episodes in at this point now. Um... You'd think I'd catch on to these sort of things, um, but I don't catch much. Uh, the floor is surprisingly good at catching me, but, you know, that's just how it is. Um, you'd be surprised what it's bad at catching. Not much. Like, even things that defy it. Like planes. Still catches. What Mo's Gup? What Mo's Gup must gum down? What? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> anyway, point is, I like Violet. <laughs> Damn, you bit 
the floor on my hand. Anyway, um, yes, I'm watching another episode of Violet. Fuck. Anyway, it's episode seven. I have no idea what's going to happen, but we're going to go ahead and watch it. Also, again, I'm pretty sure Sharon me broke my brain in twain. Also, I did sit down and watch the first half of the first episode of something with Sharon me in it. Pay attention, you, you'll know what it is. But, like... I did that. I tried to do that yesterday, but then I had to go to work. <laughs> I specifically tried to do that at work the one day, but then it flooded and everything went wrong. Um, So, that didn't happen. That was what I was going to do. I was going to, like, I'm stuck at work for all this time. I'm sitting to wait before I leave. Cool. I'll sit down and watch the first two episodes of Raced again. I've spoiled what it was. Anyway, that would be great. It would be fantastic. And then hell happened. And now here we are. So, I've watched the first half of the first episode. Once again. So, within our three years, we'll be ready to continue again. Um, anywhere. Fuck. I can't wait to watch that whole goddamn show and for everyone to watch it be so disappointed. Like, two people will watch their reaction to it. It'll be great. It'll be so worth everyone's time. Um, anyway. We kind of watch fucking Violet Evergarden, dude. Are you ready? Are you willing? Are you participation? Ning. You excited? You excited to see the sweet bean? Miss, uh, fucking... That would have been the dumbest thing I've ever said. Especially since I can't even figure out what, what is a good... The only other one I think would be farm would be Petunia Long Farm, was where I was going to go with it. Get Because it, Violet, because like, it's a flower, and then Everest, and like, as a, ah! so I was long. And then I couldn't figure out what garden was, or I would have went with it right away, so I went with Farm instead. It's my favorite show. Petunia Long Farm sounds like one of those, uh, like, fucking little kids, semi-educational shows and shit, you know what I'm talking about? It's like some Peppa Pig shit, I think. Is that a thing? I don't know what that is. Um. Ooh, I was hoping we'd be like 45 minutes in by now. Um, <laughs> just to point out, if you sat through that whole thing, um, you're my new, you're my favorite person in my audience, and you have the right to wear that badge of honor. Um, if anyone asks, uh, say the code words. I guess, I guess Petunia Long Farm, and, and I will know that you are the real one, you know? You, you are what is, what is golden, all that is man, woman, or child, or none of those things. And that's rad, too. Hashtag Petunia Long Farm. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and watch this. Stop shaking. You fell like 12 minutes ago. It's fine. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and watch this. Jesus fucking Christ. In three, two, one, go. Sweet Jesus Lord, save me, please. Keith is always at an 11, and I love it. I have noticed that, like, again, I talked about it last time, he voices so many fucking characters in this show. Damn. Acting. That's what that is. Take that scenery and devour it like a fucking lawnmower, son point is like again uh, yeah i've noticed again like keith voices like 20 different fucking characters in this show it's kind of great because like, again i love keith's voice Ooh, is that what we're doing
That could be construed in a way that I do not personally prefer around the sweet... I'm not going to say it because then it would ruin the the exclusivity of our club that we invented earlier in the intro. <laughs> Point is, be nice to Violet, please. Look at this. This is, I was going to say that's a smile we must protect, but she didn't smile there. Like, last episode is like the only time I think we've had her smile in the whole show. And it made my heart do the big explosion. I've had a bit of that recently. Like, fucking Diamond in, in Land of Lustrous just makes my heart do the big happy. Violet came through with that smile that last episode. Fuck it. Yukino in The Wave? The cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, do not tell Mitra I've said that because it's will be wrong because Mitra's little hey, 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 giggle is the cutest thing on the earth. <laughs> Don't damn it. Fucking this pre-recorded video didn't listen to me, and I'm angry. I'm gonna write an angry letter on Twitter about it. It's gonna be a very short letter, but you know, you work with what you got. Oh, baby girl rolling up in the ranks. Yeah, you you got to say something. Because uh, she's going to lose her fucking mind if you do not if you just keep letting this go, sir. It's, it's not good. A right, little chair swing. It was a rustic-ass cottage. Feels like home. Hello, sir. This is what I imagine Taki from, from Euphonium looks like. Grown up and all pained and shit. He's, at, he's all worn and grizzled. After everything fell apart. Or I guess Hotaru if he also grew up. Because they look exactly the same. Um... Yo, Annie, man. Um, <laughs> I choose to believe it's all the same universe. <laughs> Damn, sir. Take care of yourself. Don't don't do it. Ah, pained artist. That's how they get you. Here, Philip K. Dick in it. I think he more had like a bunch of just mental issues more than stuff. Maybe a Hunter S. Thompson. Maybe that's what would have been a better choice. It's a show like this that makes me think and not want to talk about how I might have a concerning set of emotions regarding a certain thing. Well, he's, he has red hair. I didn't realize it. We're not going to talk about it. And we're not going to talk about... Delicious. Big, big uh, bacon pasta with some, some, some eggy stuff in it. Have you have you made carbonara before? This 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 egg is ugly. You gotta be you gotta be careful. You gotta add in just right though, because if you do it wrong, the egg will scramble. Which you don't want that, because that's the only way I've ever made carbonara, uh, which is to say, fucking terribly, and not carbonara. <laughs> Do 
You you could see the little chunky bits in there too. She did it too. <laughs> Curious, sir, did you perhaps lose someone? Just perpetually alone? I feel that. Do you also fall out of your chair listening to sweet, tasty VTuber jams? Um, brother, it's 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 not good. I can even. This is true. See, the part that you don't see is Violet getting just fucking hammered in the background. <laughs> that is some some weak ass fucking dialogue, sir. That is so fucking cute. She's just so fucking adorable sometimes. They're gonna do it? That's awesome. I love it. It's all invested in shit. Dialogue needs a little more to work. I gotta be honest with you. You can't just say, And we stabbed the monster. Yeah. Now wait till you figure out what I've been feeling watching your ass the entire time. <laughs> been making videos on it this whole time. Aww. Oh, well if it's a children's play, I, I won't judge you as harshly. I feel bad. I feel... Now it makes sense for the dialogue to be a little weaker. I'm I'm sorry. I'm an asshole. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh dear. It's a real girl who fell through the world situation. Fuck, I want Ruby to come back so bad. <laughs> Hiatus is brutal. It's very pretty. Very bright, though. Guy like Overcast. God damn it, I want Ruby to come back. <laughs> Oh, oh! Is it like a is it like a daughter thing? Ooh, that's that would be even worse. I I assume because it looked like they had fucked up teeth, but I can't I can't be sure. Maybe your wife just had really fucked up teeth. I couldn't tell. <laughs> That would explain some some emotions. Breathe your nose. I, I get you hurting. So that was that was Christina. No, Christine. Fake fan. Um, so my curiosity. Oh, little Livy. Little Livy, maybe 
not Olivia anymore. Um, adorable. I wish to give her all of the head pads. Does she love carbonara? Yeah, Neo, that shit. Actually, don't do that. You will fall and drown. I mentioned I love and hate this song, right? Oh, fuck. Oh, no, man. It's kind of an asshole sometimes. Again, you're going to have to deal with that here at some point. Yeah, and I do like, because it is very, it is a very episodic show, but I do really, I love how she affects everyone else and how she learns off of everyone else. It's how they both help each other grow. It's, it's interesting. I'm really enjoying it. Hey man, if you got a Deus Ex Machina of that shit, I don't give a fuck. Make it happen. Gotta fly out with the water birds or the or the parasol across. Again, Neo this shit. Um the little tiptoe and everything. It's fiction. <gasps> yes. I'm so invested. You could be writing this shit down, Violet. Come bit of a little bit of Olivia all up in you Please do not, do not drop and sink like a rock, baby girl. I, I 
fuck. Like a fucking train, that? Okay. Praise be Violet. Damn. Oh. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, that really hit me. Violet is so fucking good, dude. The show and her. I mean, this show's ability to make so many good, like, compelling, compact stories. It reminds me of, like, there's that. Um, like, it reminds me of that first, that first episode of, like, Plastic Memories. Like, it's a very self-contained moment. But you, it hits like a freight train, despite that. You owe it to him and yourself. Fuck. And I hate sad Eric Harlicker. It's so it's it's upsetting. I don't like it. Erica's great and I want her to do the happy fun time voice all the time. <laughs> Hi. Is that Karen, too? It's not like the lady from the first episode, right? Because now I'm going to feel like an idiot. Because if so, I definitely would have commented on the Karen of, of it as well. Oh, fuck. So Sam, brother, you gotta fucking tell her. <sighs> Fuck. Spartan, that one. Damn. (sighs) 
Brother, you gotta come with a little bit better better bedtime manner with that shit. You gotta be very gentle with someone like her right now. Girl has a lot of emotional issues and is not equipped to handle that shit. You see, you gotta come in a little, a little softer than just, hey, you gotta accept this. Like, yeah, she does, but you've gotta help her. Girl barely knows what fucking emotions are, let alone how to fucking handle them. Especially ones like that. Fuck. That's a really good episode. Also, it's a really good show. Also, Violet is a absolutely, utterly phenomenal fucking character. Um... You know what's weird is, like, while I, like, was, again, Snafu, I immediately glommed on fucking Yukino, and she jumped insanely high up my favorite characters list. I haven't really put a lot of thought into where Violet will fit. I think it's because there's still so much room for Violet to grow. Um, And whereas, like, ever, like, Yukino feels like it's a surprise when she grows on me more. Violet, I like, it feels like I know that there's still so much to go and there's so many different directions to take her and for her to develop and for her heart to continue growing and breaking mine and twain. Um, so I think it's going to be a really, really hard one for me to deal with until the show is over. I actually want to double check too. Um, the, the Violet movie... As far as I know, that is more that is more direct continuation y than spin off, yes? Or am I or am I mistaken in that? Is that more spin off y, like dealing with like side characters or something like that? I'd be curious to know, obviously not with too many spoilers or anything like that, but I would be curious to know uh kind of what we have to look forward to there if I don't know. I'd be interested to see. But um yeah, I, I really like that episode. There's a lot of really beautiful moments in there. And again, w watching... Number one, again, that scene hit me like a fucking freight train. Um, but yeah, man, Violet is such a fucking compelling character. Like, especially watching her grow into her emotions and her understanding of the world and how she affects other people and stuff. It's just, it's... It's really fucking beautiful, man. It really is. Um, shit. Do you remember when I started this video off by dancing so aggressively I fell out of my chair and broke my fucking arm? I remember that. Fuck. <laughs> well, how the times they are a-changing. <laughs> Ah, oh, that was fucking beautiful. I really wish I could say more about Violet other than just I really like this character because there's a lot of different things I feel when I'm talking about her. I know, there's just a lot. There's a profound amount of fucking development each and every episode, which again is kind of interesting because you don't always necessarily get that in a more episodic style show. So that's just a bunch of, you know, self-contained stories all connecting together and you get some through line of a main plot in there and main character developments and stuff like that. But, like, it just, it feels very heavy on this one. Again, it's a very, very, very heavy character show. And again, that is my jam. That is my favorite thing. I need to fucking pick up this thing of batteries that fell, like, a week ago and never picked up. Um, But, like... Again, my favorite thing in any story is the characters. Like, that is that is why I am watching almost any series out there. It's not the plot. It's not the, the way it looks. It's not any of that. It's why, like, while I'm watching Land of Lustrous, and, like, when they do a really fucking cool, like, tracking shot in 3D and shit like that, and it looks fucking fantastic, I go like, ah, that's cool. So anyway, let me tell you about how great I think Diamond looks. Um... And that's, that's a, a fucking, um, what am I trying to say? That's obviously a kind of simplified, jokey version of it, because when I say that, of course, I mean, like, how Diamond is in general, or how Foss is in general, or how Violet is in general. 
Um, it's because I'm I'm a character guy. That is that is my thing. Like with Ruby, Ruby's my favorite show. As much as I love every part of it, it's the characters growing on their journeys. That is my thing. It's why I'm not constantly fucking uh, making jokes about the Grim or something like that. I'm making jokes about like. Oh my god, I love Weiss, or something like this, because that's why I'm watching that show first and foremost. So, I don't know, it's just, it's it's the kind of person I am. So, a show like this that leans so heavily on its character that, like, everything is on Violet's shoulders, it is extremely well done, and and I adore this character. Um... Again, it's it's an interesting thing, but I've I've not thought about that at all where I would put her on that list. It's it's interesting. This is the VTuber chat. What the fuck am I doing? Staring a peek at me. That's what I'm doing. Um as is my custom. I haven't screamed about how great Selene is today yet, so we've gotta do something about that. Um But uh yeah, I, I legitimately don't know where I would put her. I have absolutely no idea. And I feel like I won't have any good idea until the show's over. It's going to be interesting. It'll be interesting to see. Um, Anyway, there is that. That was episode 7 of Violet Evergarden. The one with the man who does the drink and does me the big cry. Um, And yeah, we've officially... That has officially come out. Not the way it should have, Claudia, you goofy fuck. Just, just... I know it wouldn't have been easy, but you needed to do that. And you needed to do it better than that. Um, yeah, I don't know, get some of the other people in the group involved, you know? Some some friends she can rely on. Fucking Iris is there. She, I mean, Iris started to care about her. Catalea's always seemed fairly fairly cool. I don't know... As far as I know, that's all been fairly genuine. Um, fucking... Is it Erica? The, Christine's character? I think it is. It fucks me up, because fucking Violet Evergarden's fucking goddamn character. I don't know why I said her full name. Because Violet's... Because <laughs> Violet's VA is also named Erica. <laughs> Which, again, uh, actually, I do want to give a shout-out, uh there too because fucking erica is so fucking talented sometimes man i say sometimes all the time but um again i i just played through all of uh what was it uh p5 royal uh a, a little while back before we started getting back into when i was depressed before we got back rolling into uh uh the show is all moving along and stuff so uh and i totally fucking uh dated on in that which by the way is eric harlicker's character um so I was really, really used to uh, a lot of happy-go-lucky fun time on. Aside from that part in the beginning where she's really fucking depressed because she's going through hell. And Persona 5 is really fucking mean. Um, but, like, it's also very fun. Christine is in that also, and she's also great. And also very sad. Um, point is... Uh, yeah, like so going off of that, it's it's been really interesting rolling into this one because Violet has, through most of the show, been very very subdued and toned down and kind of emotionally dislocated from everything. So especially in an episode like this where she's legitimately breaking down and opening up and kind of losing her shit, I don't know it. It really hurts, and it really it's again it's a great example of Erica. Erica's uh, ability to pull out some fucking tears. And reminder that, yes, On is a terrible fucking actor. Erica is not. <laughs> so it's one of my favorite things is like when someone in a in a show or something like that has to act like they're bad at something that they're really good at. Um, fuck, there, I, there's, there's always one example I, I want to jump to, but my brain is uh, skipping on out who that actually is but like there's the whole thing of like yeah so it's interesting having to play a character who can't sing because i can totally fucking sing <laughs> so i have to go so i have to pretend that i can't sing despite the fact that i have the voice of a goddamn angel i can't remember who that was 
I feel like they weren't talking about it. I'm pretty sure it was someone else talking about them and their performance, but fuck, I don't know why that's escaping me. There was a very specific example I wanted to go to. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those things. Eric is really great. Um, yeah, super talented. Um, yeah, this is a good fucking show, man. It's a good show. It was a great episode. Violet's a phenomenal character, and I had a good time with it. I hope you guys did too. Uh, reminder: uh, if you if you say the code word, you're a fucking real one. Um, and uh, fucking. I have a knife. Why? Because I got given it as a gift forever ago, and it's a piece of shit. Um, anyway. Like, it was, it was a piece of shit when I got it. I don't know why I would care. I don't like knives, but uh, I will fiddle with it, because it's also got, like, a little... It's got, like, a bottle cap opener thing on it, and it's a little cork twisty do, and I'm like, woo! Bleeding everywhere! Um, so, like... <laughs> Should I fall out the chair again, just for old times? Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end it. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, for more, until then, toodles, doodles, and lemons, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you then and there. Lemons. Violet. Stuff. Um, anyway, I'm going to go. Get the fuck out of here. Run away. Run away.